what is that? It's Pokeball. So I got it and I bought it. It was three dollars. The thing cost me three dollars! I swear I'm not crazy. I'm just like super enthusiastic when it comes to finding things that are like super inexpensive that I can use or reuse. This was the perfect shape item I could possibly ask for. I already had the cutouts for the button. It came in two because it was a tape dispenser originally. So it was a win-win all around. Very easy to do. Oh, it is fire. Please be careful. I actually um, don't recommend doing this step if you're young. You don't really have to do it. The reason why I did it is because it was a little bit sharp and pointy and I wanted to melt down the plastic to make it smooth. This was the light that I used for the inside. It was a bicycle light. I found it at the dollar store, it was a buck. I was able to kind of rig it up. So I had these snap metal pieces that when you push the snap down, obviously it would push the light on the bike piece and it would light up. Very easy, very simple. I used a little bit of foam in the bottom of the ball just to support the light to sit up or to sit up where I needed it so then the button could actually touch it like you can see there. And I'm just kind of testing it out with Dee's approval. And um, once you kind of get that all together and you're ready to do the inside, I do suggest when you do the inside, just be careful. Make sure you test that your ball can actually go together properly because when I put the warbler on, it kind of had dried before I had put the ball on and then it was kind of hard to push together. So make sure you're testing it like I'm doing there but lighting it dry like that if you're going to use warbler or you can use tape as well. Tape would be obviously easier because then it wouldn't it would form it wouldn't be so hard and then um this step right now I really wish I didn't have to do but I did have to do it because the ball had these imprint or indents where the soccer balls were and or like the soccer balls where the black pieces were and so I had to cover it in spackle and then sand it down just to make it one smooth spherical shape and then paint it red and white and a little bit of dry brushing with black and a little silver and you're done So unless you've been living underneath a rock lately, and if you do, I'm really kind of sorry because that's kind of bad living conditions. <laughs> anyway, Pokemon Go is like super, super popular right now and everyone's playing it and it just came to Canada like four or five days ago or something like that. We downloaded it, of course. It inspired me to do something, I guess, Pokemon theme related just because it is so popular right now. So I decided to go for the Pokeball. And this Pokeball was actually one lucky Pokeball. I made it from a soccer ball tape dispenser that I found at the dollar store. And it was actually pretty cool because it was the perfect size, it was the perfect shape, and it split in half and it had this round thing already on it. Like what more could you ask for, right? I didn't even know that they had them there. I went without intention of finding anything. I found it, I'm like, what is that? The Pokeball. So I got it and I bought it. It was three dollars. The thing cost me three dollars! And whatever the paint is, but this cool little gadgety goop is your Pokeball. I obviously just painted it the traditional colors. It had a little bit of a indent there, but I don't really care about that. And I was able to rig it up so then you could turn on it lights up. I don't know if you can see that. And that's flashing mode, or it can do a still mode. So you can see. So if you like this video, like it, right? It's so easy. It makes so much sense too to subscribe. So maybe do that as well where you're liking it. Just kind of move over to the side and subscribe. And if you have any questions or concerns or comments, feel free to ask. And if you have any requests, request because I like seeing them. And actually right when I finished this Pokeball, someone was like, hey, you should make a Pokeball. And I was like, pff, pff, already done. So. Anyway, hope you like this. We'll see you next time. Hopefully next week is going to be my next vid because the project's already done and I just have to edit the video. So talk to you again soon. Goodbye.